I don't want to interrupt the proceedings, he said, but we'd like to thank a nice girl from Enniscorthy and two nice women from Arklow for their hard day's work. There was a round of applause. And as a way of thanking them, there's one great singer in this hall. We're delighted to see him this year again. He pointed to the man whom Eilish had mistaken for her father. He was sitting away from Eilish and Father Flood, but he stood up when his name was called and walked quietly towards them. He stood with his back to the wall so that everyone could see him. When Eilish looked up, the man was signalling to her. He wanted her, it seemed, to come and stand with him. It struck her for a second that he might want her to sing, so she shook her head, but he kept beckoning, and people began to turn and look at her. She felt she had no choice but to leave her seat and approach him. She could not think why he wanted her. He did not greet her or acknowledge her arrival, but closed his eyes and reached his hand towards hers and held it. The skin on the palm of his hand was soft. He gripped her hand tightly and began to move it in a faint circular motion as he started to sing. His voice was loud and strong and nasal. He pronounced each word carefully and slowly, building up a wildness, a ferocity in the way he treated the melody. It was only when he came to the chorus, however, that she understood the words. And he glanced at her proudly, almost possessively, as he sang these lines. All the people in the hall watched him silently. There were five or six verses. He sang the words out with pure innocence and charm, so that at times when he closed his eyes, leaning his large frame against the wall, he did not seem like an old man. The strength of his voice and the confidence of his performance had taken over. And then each time he came to the chorus, he looked at her, letting the melody become sweeter by slowing down the pace. Putting his head down then, managing to suggest even more that he had not merely learned the song, but that he meant it. Alish knew how sorry this man was going to be and how sorry she would be when the song had ended, when the last chorus had to be sung and the singer would have to bow to the crowd and go back to his place and give way to another singer as Eilish too went back and sat in her chair. <laughs>